Ooh, what's up, Internet? We're back. We're back. With The Expanse. Yeah, yeah. My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claude Root. And this is our favorite TV show. Pretty much, yeah. I I mean, it's my favorite thing that we're watching right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, uh, it has been a minute since we've recorded one of these. Mm-hmm. Clarus, where where did we leave off? We, uh, oh, wow. Oh, you're going to throw that at me. I thought you were going to ask where we were, and I was like, oh, we were at Anime Expo, <laughs> and now I'm thrown for a loop. We left off uh, where Christian had a really slick white suit. Okay, what happened in the last and episode? And that's what you missed on Glee. What happened in the last episode? You're, you're making me nervous now. I'm just curious if you know. <laughs> and I'm anxious. Um, this is really good content. <laughs> what? When we sat down to watch this, what were you like? You were like, ah, oh, it'll be fine. Yeah, I always am. Do you not remember what happens on things that we react to? No. Okay. I mean, I do once it starts playing, but before the show starts, I don't remember anything. That's fascinating. My brain is somewhere else. Cool. Well, I'm glad uh, that's how you view our job. Um, Thanks for throwing the, me under uh, the bus. The secretary on of the UN YouTube. dude just was like, uh, here's my speech, and ladies upset about it. So let's see what the fallout is of everybody going to is war. Is that all you remember? Oh, there was a that speech. Was a pr- that was the most important thing that happened last episode. It was the thumbnail. There, there was a speech, guys, and there's a fallout because of that, and that's what you missed on Glee. <laughs> This was terrible if you want the full like <coughs> I'm a little bit sick. If you want the like to actually go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly, but if you don't stay here and we'll keep being awful to each other. Uh, we are once the YouTube's video started. worst reactors. We, so we are, have to, we like, are canonically the worst yeah, reactors. We have to like earn that title, you know? That's not a title <laughs> that's just given out. You have to like earn that. Oh, we put it we put on our ten thousand hours to be YouTube's canonically worst reactors. Let's watch this television episode. We haven't had any more protomolecule shouts from the station. It's possible the hybrids are either gone or dormant. Hmm. <laughs> then we run and nuke the goddamn place on the way out. And if they're a cute little kid who deserves to not get hurt because he didn't do anything wrong? Mm-hmm. This dude looks like a serial killer. Yeah. He just is like. Ready? Oh, no, you know what it is? He looks like Ben Shapiro. <laughs> That's what I don't like about him. Damn it. Poor guy. They just fixed up your boat and sent you on your way. We tried to take the ship by force, but we were unsuccessful. There was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got your fucking ass. As well as the UN Deputy Undersecretary, Christian Avasarala, she was there too. <laughs> Who else was there? Fucking Tooth Fairy? <laughs> Tight beam MCRN command. Inform them that we have received intel for an unknown objective that may be critical to the war effort. Fuck. If necessary, we will engage. That little, that little hole? <laughs> it closed. There's no hole anymore. Get him on a damage control unit. We're gonna need the help. One way or another, we're heading for a fight. Ah, fuck. Remember when so I was much like, for peace. Remember when I was like, I don't like really remember what happened last episode. I actually like remember that episode, but like I was like, oh no, that was a few episodes ago because I think it's just been so long mm-hmm. since we recorded. I was like, yeah. Admiral, may I ask why we're going to IO? Admiral, in the future, unless you have specific business on the CIC, there's no need for you to be here. Understood, sir. You know what's great for morale? Everything is awful. I'd settle for saving my morning. Mm. He has to front to press because he broke the coffee machine. I love this show. I tried saving the world. All I did was make it worse. But at least you tried. And you cannot stop trying now. For the good of Earth, Mars, and the belt. For the good of us all. This is sounding very Cat Swain to me. <laughs> In order to save everyone, I need to have this. No, but she would be calling everyone a child. All right. 
Let's see what we got here, girl. <laughs> if watching this message keeps them on here long enough to realize they're turning, that's going to be an incredible turn of events. Right? Hi, Dad. A real warrior has to make sacrifices. I'm proud to be your son. Bye, Dad. Hope you can come home soon. That is so sweet. I didn't want mom finding out I did this, so I went outside in a spacesuit so she couldn't hear me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Mars, no one can hear you talk to your father. For taking care of me. And for teaching me. You can thank me if we get your little girl back. Are they gonna start dating? <laughs> Is this the true power couple of the Expanse? They just oh, stroke no. each other's guns? <laughs> God. Hi, we'd like to discuss mutiny. <laughs> Ever since Wynn came on board, has been tight beaming back and forth between the UN and IO, with no record of the conversations. You've been monitoring his comms? Yep. <laughs> We've been talking, quietly, to some of the other ships. The commanders you trained, they're loyal to you. Morale's great. He knows the enemy. I'm glad he's in charge at a time like this. I'm not sure he knows the enemy that well. Yeah, he just yeah, got yeah, his yeah. ass kicked by them. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, he knows they're he, better than... He knows him. the enemy. They kicked his ass once. More like an animal following instinct. We lured that thing out with um, a nuclear warhead. And I flipped the Rossi around and I torched that thing in my drive crew. We lured it with the nuclear warhead. It was so simple. Yeah. We held a nuke in our hands. <laughs> If I can get close enough and maintain fire long enough, these might do the oh, trick. Oh, hold on there, soldier. The plan is if you guys see any of those things down there, you run. I know the plan. Marines have backups. Yeah. Not bad to have. I, yeah, I have no problem with the Marine being like, oh yeah, no, no, I will run if that's an option. And if it's not, guns. Because that's fucking horrifying. Holy shit. God damn, this show is fucking with my head. What is the work? <laughs> that effect is fucking incredible. The control module used to program the hybrids is attached directly to the brainstem. I might be able to use it to slow his metabolism. <laughs> Oy, what? Oh, he's gonna die. <laughs> oh, you can see the needle through this. Ah, that was so creepy. <laughs> See? It's all under control now. Wow, it's a good thing that hole was built into that glass at the exact perfect place. Well, I mean, yeah, they're doing, like, cell research. Yeah. Cut our brick and burn to IL 10% and inform me when we're ready to make orbit. I'll be in my quarters. Aye, sir. Hashtag mutiny time? Take a break. I'll handle it. Oh no, are these two gonna fuck everything up? It's from the Hammurabi, and it's addressed specifically to Admiral Souther. Forward it to my personal comm and erase the log. I actually sent it. Let's go, Mars! Damn! Oh, Joel, you will clean up the mess you made for me. You will return to Earth alone. Hashtag mutiny time, let's go! What do you want me to do, sir? Be ready for anything. Holy shit. This is getting so tense, holy fuck. Sorry, sir. No one's allowed. Get the fuck out of my way, sailor. <laughs> A weapon on Ganymede. What ship? The, uh, Caracom. That was it. Was Admiral it? Souther! Please come with us. Admiral Wynn would like to see you now. No. Admiral Wynn doesn't know it's coming. Southern's coming up those stairs like an 800 pound gorilla about to be like, bop, bop, let's go. Oh, I'm excited. Kotiar 
thank you for rolling a net 20 on your intelligence check there. Uh, yep. Really remembering the details. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <sighs> could not, literally could not. No. In a million years be mm -mm, you. Mm -mm. <laughs> I do love you. I'm only mean to you on camera because it's funny. I know. <laughs> Between us and them for the descent. He's earning his pay. They're getting paid? No, he's... He always believed what he was doing was right. You know I'm not that guy. I had a child with him. <laughs> <laughs> the look on his face! I should have talked to you first. All of you. Most of all, you. I'm never gonna like what you did. But I can't hate you for doing what you thought was right. Like a damn. That was a great little monologue. Yeah. I feel bad for laughing at the beginning of it because it got real heavy real fast. Well, no, his face turning around was like, oh, God. The work. What is the work? What are you building? Soon, soon, soon. We're losing him again. Work, finish, soon. No, no, Come with me, please. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Why did the protomolecule get rid of his genitals? Eh, for the ratings. The first thing it does is always just consume the genitals. I'm sorry, sir. He won't be talking to us again. Then we need another conduit. Well, this subject hybridized with the protomolecule better than anyone I've ever seen. Me! The one with the most similar genetic profile would be... Mei Mei. Now, the things I want to shove into the orifices of your body... <laughs> are not pleasant. Oh, like, it's no. not like a good they're shoving. They're sharp. They are large and they're sharp. Y'all, at the point where the protomolecule, you know it's building shit and that it communicates with itself outside of your control. Stop! Stop giving it to more people! This is bad news bears! There's still time to make this You're right. relieved of duty and can find your quarters. Try anything else and I will have you and I. Battle stations! Come on, Souther, what's the play? Eleven ship should have firing solutions three minutes after we do. Full fleet engagement five minutes after that. Ah! That's fun. Lock opens a door and lets a couple of grunts figure out how not to fight. For once. I like her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great and noble, sir. But we are in a shooting war. And I prefer to win it. I just... I don't know that you win wars, you know? Everyone kind of loses in the end. Yep. But the story that the winners get to tell about how they won, that's always a banger. Thank you. I mean, if we don't find her, or if we do and she's- I'll be ready for that too. Their little friendship, super cute. Yeah. Just bros I'm being bros. It. The plant guy and the fighting guy. <laughs> Bobby don't need no seatbelt. Seatbelts are for nerds. <laughs> I will stand here like Tom Cruise clinging to the side of the Burj Khalifa. That's a reference you don't get. No. no. It's a good scene. It's a banger scene. Oh my god. It's literally like going to cut to the credits as soon as this gets close. Override's no good. The drawings are behind that plate. Feels pretty thick. We can cut it. I love that Holden has his gun up and Bobby's just walking around, the arms down. She's like, I'm. God, it is such a cool ship design. There's all the ships are fucking rad. What was she like? They're kind of mean at first. <laughs> I think I liked her. 
I don't know what that says about you. In accordance with the military code of justice, I am relieving you of command. This is mutiny. For conspiring to wage an illegal war. Give me wideband, unencrypted, all ships in the AO. I mean, they have the... They have the video? They have the video, they have his communications. Yeah. I have relieved Fleet Admiral Wynn of duties under charges of conspiracy. We're fighting an illegal war. Let's go. I'm ordering all UN ships to take any actions necessary if the agony is too- Dude, the evidence still exists! Not if you delete it. If you assume that you, that you can. Break it off. Traitors. Oh my god! They're not changing course, sir. Weapons, give me a missile lock in the head menace. <laughs> Does anyone else here who is unwilling to follow my lawful order, declare yourself now. Take him out to the brig. Yes, sir. You, you must be real proud, dude. Yes, sir. Oh, I'll get down on my knees for you, sir. I'm a little bitch. Fuck off. Ah. Oh. A menace. Acknowledge. I hate this man so much. Menace has been destroyed, sir. Jesus, this is so crazy. What is happening? Man, let him help. What is happening? Jesus, they're firing at each other. <laughs> Open a channel to our fleet. You're on, sir. Let him kill themselves. We're fucking off. There's been a mutiny aboard the Agatha King, and UNN ships are firing on each other. If they want to destroy each other, we will let them. God, at least there's one adult. Now that Souther's dead. I don't know, it's only one bullet wound. You might be fine. No, it's others. Well, okay, yeah, maybe. I mean, she's alive. I could not have predicted. <laughs> what? We're just two in the back and people now win? <laughs> I forgot these people are even doing shit. <laughs> There's some important things happening in space right now. Shit. That pod launch system. He can control them from. Yeah, they sent him controls. Remember, he like messaged Mao and. Yeah. 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 Are those all proto molecules? They launched the hybrids. This dude is unhinged. What does he think is gonna happen? Like utterly unhinged. What the fuck is happening on this television program? Oh, wow. Wow. I don't even know what to think right now. That was in that was truly insane. How are there seasons after this? <laughs> yeah, like how much further are we going from here? That's one of the craziest episodes of television I think I've ever watched. That, in terms that, of, like, the scale of consequences, yeah. That is how I think watching The Red Wedding must have felt to people who hadn't read the books first. Because I had read the books when I was so young, The Red Wedding to me was a, like, check mark of, like, yep, yeah, knew it was coming. Yeah, yeah, I watched yeah. it by myself, so, like, I didn't have that experience of, like, watching people watch it and being like, wait, what's happening? That to me was as crazy. Because the last thing I expected was for Win to fucking... Pop, pop that lady in the back after she's already down. 
Yeah, he's. Uh, they don't have stunning. They don't have stuns in the expanse. Yeah, it's not real. Spy guy is in trouble. Cody R. Oh my god, I didn't even think about Cody R. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. They're shooting hybrids. I thought there weren't any other hybrids. I thought um, Katoa was the only hybrid, but I um, uh, I don't I don't know. That was unclear. That me, is but. unclear. Do you think they get to May in time? Yes. Oh okay. I do. I think that that's that the building of tension of like strapping her down. Mm -hmm. I, I actually do. You think don't think so. they're gonna open the door and she's gonna have a little bit of blue in her? Maybe, but like. Uh, Sokotoa had to get dosed like I can't hear his name. I know, I know, I know. It's so without, funny. He, he had to, he was being dosed over time, right? And mm -hmm. May has been as well, but like she might get like a dose and it like starts the process, but I don't think she's gonna get. What if she becomes a member of the Rossi crew, but she has superpowers and her and Bobby like arm wrestle? But she wins, even though she's a child, because she's a, a super child. Maybe. I don't what think if she's this is super be kids? dead. I, I don't think she's going to be dead. I think that she's going to have oh, no, no, no. an arc. Yeah. You know, like, I think that there's going there's or, a lot more here. Or she will die in practice arms. She Yeah, she might die on the show, but I don't think she would die yet, if that were mm, going okay. to happen. I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen, because I couldn't have predicted a fucking thing that happened in this episode. Yeah. <laughs> and yet, all of it makes sense. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's just, it is that crazy. Here's the thing. It's one of the, it's one of the, again, brilliant writing moments of the show mm -hmm. where things happen that are shocking, but not for shock value. Yeah. It mm -hmm. makes sense. It makes yeah, sense what the characters do and why they act the way that they do 100%. It's not meant to be like, huh, gotcha. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's very much, like, part of the story that feels like a puzzle piece that's not like wedged in there to try and make people go, wow. Well, like, one of the things I think is so successful is in setting up past relationships, especially among the UNN crew, was really well done in this episode. Mm -hmm. In like showing Souther's, they they mention that all of these people that Souther trained are loyal to him, uh -huh. but they also do that by showing those two and their loyalty to him. Yep. Loyalty to him. And so you kind of establish the interpersonal relationships of this man outside of the military structure that have come about because of the military structure. Yeah. And so everybody's actions make sense in their, in like, entanglement with that. Yeah, for sure. Um, which I, I think is something that a lot of shows don't really do a good job of is setting up, like, that these people have real relationships to each other sometimes outside feel, of the, like, will they, won't they stuff. Yeah, sometimes relationships can feel isolated mm -hmm. to what's purely, like, in the show in the yeah. now. Yeah, mm -hmm. Um, and I think this show just does a really good job of showing how to, like, have your side characters and your, like, smaller characters um, have real, like, informed wider lives yeah. within the world that yeah. impact the plot really well. Yeah. And I, I just I just think that's such a strong... And obviously, so there's been in it for, since the beginning of the show, right? But there's just something about, you know, the way they've built him up in the background of the show... Uh, as this smaller side character who is very important and probably now dead, but, um, you know, had a huge impact on everything that's happened. Yeah. And uh, was a man of peace. And I, I can dig um, Admiral who is a man of peace. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. I yeah. like peace. I like people who don't like killing people. Yeah. Personally. We were at John Williams at the Hollywood Bowl uh, last week. And uh, the Duel of the Fates started playing. And I have it on video. You can hear the kid behind us going... I like good guys, not bad guys. And it was one of the funniest things in the world. But I was like, me too, kid. <laughs> me too. Same. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below. Because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess, is uh, the captain of the Hammurabi. Yeah. Uh, not the Harambe, but that's what I kept thinking about this whole episode. The Hasanabi. Sanabi? The mm. Twitch streamer? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was the Hammurabi. The Hammurabi. Uh, she was wonderful, and um, I like you a lot, woman. You, I would follow you. I get it. You're yeah. a good leader. Uh, if you want to follow us around the internet, see what I did there, uh, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. As always, y'all, do something nerdy tonight. Bye, guys. Bye.